Hi, Bill Parliman here from RadicalMarketingSolutions.com and today is episode 9 of the X's and O's of SEO. And today I'm going to talk to you about the power of building internal links within your website. You're probably already aware of the benefits of building backlinks to your website, meaning external backlinks, links coming from third-party websites back to your website. But today I'm going to talk to you about a little known and little used strategy um, of building links within your website to get your site ranking higher in the search engines for the products and services you sell online. So um, there really are five steps to this process um, and I'm going to add a bonus step, a sixth step, if you're running your website on WordPress where you can actually automate this entire process at the end. So let's get into today's lesson. So the first step in this process is you have to do your keyword research. You have to know what keywords you want your website to rank for. So I suggest going after five to ten of your top uh, producing keywords. These will be the keywords that bring you the most amount of traffic and have the least amount of competition for the products and services you sell. The reason I recommend five to ten is just easier to go after um, a small amount of keywords. It's easier to manage so I recommend five to ten keywords to start with. The next step is you want to create your first content. And here's what I mean. Once you get your five keywords, you're going to want to have that content created around those keywords so you can build individual web pages around those keywords. So let's look at the diagram here and let's assume that our website is about T. Okay, so we'll, we'll use T as an example. So our home page will be the word T. Okay. And then what we'll do is maybe some of the other keywords we want to go after might be white tea, uh, black tea, and oolong tea. Okay, so those will be three pages that we'll create of content specifically optimized for those individual keywords. Okay, so once we get our first content created around those keywords, the third step will be to build a link from our home page to our individual content page. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to use the keyword as our anchor text to link from the home page to our content page, okay? So we'll want to do this for each one. I sh I'm showing three pages here, but if you have five to ten, then obviously you would link to those individual pages. Now these can be links from your navigation bar, or it could be links within the, the content of your body copy on your home page, but just make sure that the anchor text, meaning the text that's the uh, blue hyperlink text that when you click goes to the next page has your keyword in it, okay? So that's the third step. The fourth step is now to link from your content page back to your home page. But when you link from your content page, you want to use your main keyword. So, for example, if this is our home page, we would have a link that says white tea, and then black tea, and then oolong tea. Now, when we link from our content page, we're just going to use the word tea. Okay? So we'll link tea back here. So now what we're doing is we're giving the benefits, all the power from the home page to these individual content pages to boost them up in the search engines, okay? And then of course we have these supporting keywords that are going to help support the home page. So everything's kind of working as a system together. So now the fifth step in this process is to create secondary content. So what we're going to do here is let's say we use white tea as our example. The secondary content might be organic white tea. So we'll create another page of content, okay? We'll create that page, and now what we'll want to do is we'll want to link from our content page of white tea using the keywords organic white tea, and then from the content page using the word white tea back to our content page. Again, that way we're supporting all of these, these words and in the website and everything's working as a system. That's why you need to plan your website ahead and not kind of uh, wing it. So now we have all these links coming into these pages which will then feed back to our home page. So everything works um, synergistically in a system to raise the, uh, your website up in the search engines. So now the sixth step, okay, this may seem like a lot of, a lot of work and you're trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to keep track of all the pages? Well, if you're running your website on WordPress, 
there's a WordPress plugin called SEO Smart Links. You can just go to Google and do a um, Google search for um, SEO Smart Links WordPress plugin. And what this will do is actually automate this process for you. So let's say we have our home page, which is T, and then we have our content page, which is white T, and then we have our subcontent page, which is organic white T. Within the plugin setting, it's really easy to do. All you would have to do is type in the word T, okay? And then you can put in the page, so it could be T.com, okay? And then we can use our keyword white T, comma, and then we just put in T.com forward slash white T. That would be our URL. Okay, and then let's say if we have organic white T, we use our keyword here. Okay, and then you would link it to whatever that URL is, t.com forward slash organic white T. You get the picture. Um, so now what will happen is any time you create any other content on your website and naturally you write the word organic white tea or white tea, your WordPress site will automatically anchor text that keyword and it will automatically link back to whichever page you wanted to go to. So it does it automatically, which is really cool, saves you a lot of time and you know, it keeps the confusion down to where all these pages go, where they should link, it does it automatically. You can set how many um, links you want going to individual pages. I typically have no more then three links coming from one page um, out to the other pages. So it's a really, really handy WordPress plugin. So those are the five steps to creating internal uh, links within your website and the bonus six um, step if you're using WordPress, how you can do this system um, completely automated. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you have any questions, comments, or if you have any ideas for future episodes, please leave them in the comment box below below this post. And this is Bill Parliament saying, now go dominate Google. <laughs>